radiation severely weakens the body's ability to fight disease. People who had been sex partners both had the condition. The scientists say this probably means they are dealing with some new, deadly, sexually transmitted disease. Studies will show that in some areas, such as in Africa, almost one-third of the entire population is infected. HIV AIDS has reached global epidemic proportions, and there was no treatment. HIV has become a chronic disease with antiretroviral drug treatment. The condition severely weakens the body. AIDS can be treated like sugar diabetes, that AIDS can be treated like asthma, and the only reason we are dying is because we are poor. Gruppen Born som bär på HIV-viruset i uppskattningsvis 2 miljoner och majoriteten återfinns i Afrika. De flesta barn är redan smittade när de föds. Men en stor förändring märks nu när spridningen från mamma till barn halverades förra året. I've been HIV positive since the day I was born. I just came to know it 2012 when my mom told me about it. She just called us with my brother in the room and she started explaining about it like HIV and AIDS is a disease that doesn't is not being cured. And yeah, and she started telling us that the reason why we are drinking this medicine, the ARV ones. It's because we are HIV positive. <laughs> it affects my everyday life, like when I go to school and see the others that they're not positive and they're socializing with their boyfriends and all stuff. And then when they talk about HIV, they make fun of it. It's a game for them. It's because they don't have it and they think they will not get it. That's how they take it. And looking at myself here, yeah, being positive is something else. It really affects me a lot. My name is Micaela Marcos de Souza. I'm the UNICEF country representative in UNICEF Namibia. Namibia is a country situated in Southern Africa, a country that has approximately 2.3 million people. It's a country where the income inequality is huge. We also have a serious drought in the country that has really worsened the situation. So the situation of malnutrition among the very poor goes even deeper. The situation on HIV and AIDS was very, very difficult many years ago, but today there is treatment, there is prevention, but there are still high levels of infection of HIV, especially among the younger generation. There are lack of information among young people, but there is also pressure. They have friends that may be using unprotected sex, and for that reason, they too, they feel the pressure to do so. And we still have discrimination because of HIV and AIDS. And uh, this is why we maintain that we still have big challenges. My name is Nina Kainer. I go to Ashkana Combined School. 
Sometimes I intend to put myself in others' shoes. Those that are HIV positive, and it scares me a lot. It's like every, everyone you see on the streets, it's you just think about HIV. And it also scares me to get into a relationship with a person whom I don't know the status, so it's quite challenging. My name is Nehason Hangula. I am the principal of Oshikango Combined School. When I think about the, the rate at which our people are being infected, it makes me feel very, very bad and sorry about that situation. What we do concerning the spread of HIV, we do prevention campaigns. We have got career guidance, life skills, in which they are taught how to cope with everyday life. We sensitize our learners to abstain from sex. And if they can't abstain, if they are to get involved in sexual activities to protect themselves, and also we talk to our community members in every parents' meeting. UNICEF role, they make sure that uh, our life skills teachers are trained, that are extensively involved in the campaign against the spread of HIV. So now the lesson objective for this uh, topic, you have to learn about STD and the treatment. About the common STD to Namib, we have uh, gonorrhea, syphilis, and HIV. Uh, life skills? It's very important because it gives us the knowledge about HIV, how to prevent it. In olden days, people, they didn't really talk about HIV. There was nothing like that. If that knowledge would have been there, I don't think people would have been born with HIV. It's really sad. Condoms, it's for your uh, safe sex, to, for, to protect you from contracting this uh, type of diseases. So. You, might, you may get one, it's free, you don't pay anything. We will also learn that we have to accept the people that are having HIV just like other people. We shouldn't treat them differently or separate them. We can support, show them some love, and tell them that there is a future for you out there. Yeah. So the Love Skills program, they make them happier because they interact every day, they learn about everyday interaction, social life. This is very important because it will keep them healthy and it will keep them in school. It is very, very important to Namibia as a country because once we have got a healthy nation, then you can talk about uh, development. I think it's very important that UNICEF is involved in this. Because without them, it couldn't be possible to have life skill at a school. I'm aware that there's a sickness out there that actually has no cure. Once I got that knowledge, it really opened up to me and it changed my lifestyle. In addition to prevent HIV infections, UNICEF focuses very much on adolescents and living with HIV, where we have contributed and supported clubs of adolescents to ensure that the young people have their space to have conversation, to have their treatment, and live a regular and happy life. HIV positive is something else. It makes you feel like it's the end of the world, but then it's not. Yeah. Since when I joined the club, 
I've experienced that I'm not alone in the world. When I came here, I found other teenagers like me who are HIV positive. <laughs> and so from there, I've started like saying, no, let me just be brave for myself, for my family even. That specific person will just live a normal and productive life like any other person. That's why for now, HIV is not a death sentence because people are on ARVs. Any addition, Anna? Question. Yes. You say that HIV AIDS is not a death sentence. Yes. But uh, looking or just hearing from stories about it. Yes, it is important that these, these clubs continue and they exist because it helps other kids that they are out there and then they'll be encouraged to to join the club and then they say that it's not the end of the world. Other citizens for tomorrow, that's why we would like to see you smiling. We would like to see you healthy and we would like to see you. All oh, the changes that are wanting in Namibia is that people get educated about, the, about HIV and AIDS and then they should take it serious because it is a serious thing. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I think about this partnership, the UNICEF, uh, they, I, I, I'm hopeful that we will win the battle. Very hopeful. As long as we, we support each other. No child should be left behind in Namibia. And we still have many children in Namibia that are being left behind because we lack all the resources to make a difference. The money that the Swedish students would be collecting would make an incredible difference to the lives of the Namibia's children. Would enable us to work with information, educating and communicating so that we can work towards an HIV-free generation in Namibia. One of the good days I will talk about it and the whole world will know about it. Yes, I do have dreams. My dreams are to become a married woman one day with three children.